Welcome to Runs on Radix. I'm Christoph from RDX Works, here today with Faraz from Texta. Welcome, Faraz. Hey, Chris. Really happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Really awesome that you had time to come in today. So, uh, maybe to start off, uh, we already had you once in the Runs on Radix interview series. Could you introduce your project to the community? Absolutely. So, um, today I'm representing Dexter, which is the very first order book exchange on Radix that's been built entirely by the community. So um, before this project started, um, nobody knew anybody or who'd worked with any of the guys before. Um, we started with just a handful of people with a mission to build a, a community built front end um, for a decentralized exchange, uh, utilizing the Alphadex uh, back end crypto components. Um, so since then, we've grown to about 60 community contributors. And in the last week, we've just uh, released our MVP, our minimum viable product. Uh, which is our order book exchange. Wow. And this is all on the base just of community and working together on something amazing. Um, so I'm already on your website. It's dexteronradix.com, right? Yeah, that's right. Perfect. So uh, maybe you give me a little bit of an overview of your platform and what I got to do and how to get going. Absolutely. So um, you've done the first part, dexteronradix.com. Um, once you're there, um, you need to connect your Radix wallet as you would with any other yep. Radix uh, DAP. Yep. Let me do that very quick. Cool. I'm choosing my persona. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once you're connected, um, the, the front end will uh, show any of the token balances that you have. So if you look at the, uh, the market um, tab, you can see it's already pulled through your balance of XRD. Um, and currently you have yes. no Dexter, which is not acceptable, frankly, Chris. So we need to, we need to fix that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so fix that. starting at the top left of the page, you've got a drop down for all of the market pairs that we currently offer on Dexter. Um, mm -hmm. so at the moment, we're having a bit of a promotion in terms of, uh, listing tokens. We're doing all token listings for free currently, just as we sort of build a bit of build a platform and build a bit of a following. Um, so let's go with the, uh, the Dexter XRD pair given that's what we're yep. uh, talking about today. Um, yep. So the options that you have with the, uh, the order book is to do um, market or limit orders. So we'll start with a, mm -hmm. a market order to begin with, nice and simple, which is basically a request to buy tokens at the current or best uh, price on the market currently. So um, we're looking to uh, swap XRD for Dexter. So you want to hit yep. the, the two arrows in the middle of those two fields, uh, Chris, just to flip them around. Mm -hmm. And there you can just enter any amount of XRD you'd like. And Perfect, nice end, and easy. Yep, and we go with... calculate how much Dexter you're going to receive in exchange. Perfect. And I see here slippage limit and then a percentage. What is slippage? Can you explain that for me? Yeah, please? so slippage limit is basically a bit of a safeguard for our users. Um, if, you, if there's not a lot of liquidity in the order book, um, you could be requesting for quite a large amount of tokens and that could cause the mm -hmm. price that you pay for those tokens to change quite dramatically. So what you can do is set a slippage limit. So 1% basically means that you're willing to accept a 1% change from the best market price that you can currently see. So at the moment, the last price uh, you can see from the order book on the right hand side was uh, 2.98 mm -hmm. was the last, uh, last sell. Um, yep. So it would allow a 1% slippage from that price. If, if it falls out of that range, then the transaction just can't happen. So it gives you a bit of a safeguard that you're going to get the price that you intend to get. Awesome. It also, it, this adds another layer of security to the guarantees I can set in the wallet. Right? Absolutely. So it doubles up on the kind of Radix ethos of, you know, making everything really clear to the, to the user um, and mm -hmm. making sure that nothing happens that they don't expect to happen. Okay, so, and you would recommend 1% probably to... to so 1% is our default. Nice and easy. You, you might find with, with some of our tokens, and given that it's quite, quite new, uh, there's not an mm -hmm. awful lot of liquidity, so you might have to increase those limits slightly. Um, and then also, just before you hit the, the uh, execute button, the market sell button, you can also click the drop down on the total fee, um, and that will show you what the sort of fees you're uh, paying, what those cons uh, constitute. So... There's three types of fees, um, an exchange fee, uh, which goes to the back end Alphadex crypto components. There's a yep. platform fee, which is the fee that Dexter collects. And there is a liquidity fee. Um, now, mm -hmm. I'll talk briefly about the platform fee. So this ties in quite yep. nicely with the Dexter token itself. So um, given that Dexter is um, built by community contributions, um, everybody who contributes to Dexter 
is rewarded with Dexter tokens. Now, any trade that goes through the Dexter platform, it collects a small platform fee, and then all of those fees are distributed to Dexter holders, meaning the Dexter token is actually a yielding token as well. Wow, so, so actually contributing to the community effort really pays off directly and everyone Absolutely. can see. Really awesome. Um, so I would say let's go for it mm -hmm. and let's do a market buy. So nice and easy. Ah, here you can uh, see very clearly that it goes for Alphadex. Very nice. So, yeah. so I'll just clarify on that because it has confused a few people. Mm -hmm. So uh, the reason that in the wallet you see the Alphadex uh, interaction there is because that is the script token component that you're physically interacting with. So although your order is going mm -hmm. through the Dexter front end, we're utilizing the OnLedger Alphadex components. Mm, okay, that makes sense. So, um, perfect. And does also something go to, to Alphadex for the trade or? Yep, so that's in the uh, exchange fee. So the exchange fee is the, ah, the fee that yep. goes to the Alphadex, yep. That makes a lot of sense. So now I'm really interested. So what is the limit feature? Ah, so limit. So uh, let's talk <laughs> liquidity then. So basically, yep. um, if you want to purchase, you want to buy, or you want to sell tokens at a specific price, not necessarily the market mm -hmm. price, that's where the limit order comes in. So um, this is essentially the, this, the way that you would add liquidity to the exchange. So let's say you've, um, you've just purchased your Dexter, you now want to sell it, presumably at a higher price than you paid for it. So you're going to put a, yep. a limit sell in for the number of Dexter that you'd like to trade. Yeah, so I think I paid like 298 for it. Mm -hmm. So let's say I go three or five for selling. Okay, so that, that'll be the, the quantity of Dexter that you're trading. Ah. Like so you want to just put in a... Ah, I want them. Ah, yeah, my 50. Yeah, Obviously. so 50, okay, you're going to swap yes. for XRD and then you can set whichever price. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, and I want so... three or five. See. Yes. Yeah. You want those big returns, Chris, I know. Uh, yes, yes. So basically, uh, once you've entered those details in, you can uh, see below that there is also a post only checkbox. And what that will do mm -hmm. is um, it will ensure that whenever you do a limit buy or a limit sell, it will only add it to the order book if it can. So if, if, it, if there was an order on the exchange that would partially fill your order, it would simply just, yep. it, would, it would cancel. It wouldn't, it wouldn't fulfill it yet. So um, basically the way that Dexter works as well, we also give a liquidity fee. So because you're effectively adding liquidity to the exchange, if someone comes along and they offer to buy your tokens at 3.05, you would actually mm -hmm. generate a revenue from that. So you actually get a 0.35% uh, of the fee uh, for providing that liquidity. And that's also shown in the breakdown there. So you see that that's a negative value, that liquidity fee, because that would actually be yep. returned to you uh, when that order is filled. So um, yeah, so we can go ahead, you could click uh, limit sell order and yep. that will execute and you should get a transaction request. Give me one second, I have to unlock my phone. So, awesome. So it's withdrawing my 50 Dexter that I just bought. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's also depositing to you a, a receipt from the Alpha Dex, which will, uh, if, you, if you sign, that receipt will show you uh, exactly the details of your order, uh, how, much, um, how much of it has been filled, the price, mm -hmm. The dates, everything is in there. So, I'm going ahead, and I want to look at this receipt. Is this going to be deposited as a pool unit or as an NFT? Uh, oh, as an, an NFT. NFT. So then, if mm -hmm. you could go into there uh, and just click on the number, so it's the 265th order on Dexter, and yep. there you can see all of the information related to your order. So it was a market sell. You can see the amount, um, the price, um, quantity, and so on. Um, and we should also, if you scroll down onto the, uh, back onto the website, you should see in yep. the borders, uh, the bottom of the screen. Um, give me one second. Where do I find this? Should be just at the bottom of the page. Ah, yes. Yeah. Okay. There you are. I didn't see that the pages keeps going. So, okay. Right. There is one order in mm -hmm. and it's waiting for someone to, to fulfill it for me. Absolutely. And that order will sit there until it's, uh, until it's mm -hmm. filled. Uh, if you want to cancel the order on the far right hand side, you can hit cancel. Mm -hmm. And what that will do is it will send this NFT receipt that's in your wallet back to the Alphadex component and then return your Dexter tokens to you. Um, 
So um, I'm not sure if I want to do that though. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm waiting for the Dexter pumps, actually. Absolutely. <laughs> Sounds really, really exciting. So um, that's really, really exciting stuff. Now I understand also limit orders, and I think it's also very valuable for the community to have this explained properly. Um, what I would need from you is what is on your roadmap? What is the next steps? Uh, do you have anything exciting to share with the community? Yeah, so the, uh, the next exciting thing, there's two, two things that we've, um, we want to sort of announce. The first of which is our... Um, NFT competition. So we are trying to encourage more trades and liquidity on Dexter as we're just starting out. Um, so some of our community contributors have just minted 100 limited edition NFTs, which we're giving away to anybody who places a market order and places a limit order. Um, so <laughs> you're now eligible for that, Chris, I'm happy to say. So you might get one of those. Um, and on top of that, we're trying to sort of also come up with some liquidity incentives. So yep. um, at the moment, what we want to do is we are collecting all of the data on where people are applying their liquidity on the Dexter mm -hmm. exchange. And we plan to uh, reward those liquidity providers with um, Dexter tokens and also some XRD as well to try and encourage more people to, uh, to use the platform basically and make the trades more efficient. Sounds really exciting. And so how does, uh, how does it work? How do you guys come to a decision? If there's so many community contributors, um, how do you decide what to do next? Uh, with great difficulty, Chris, to be honest, it's, um, it's given that we're still fairly new, we're still sort of finding the yep. best way in which to, uh, to conduct uh, governance. A lot of discussions go on mm -hmm. in our Telegram and Discord channels. Um, and yep. we generally just gauge consensus in those groups at the moment. We, what we want to do in the future is have the Dexter token actually um, be providing the governance um, and voting power uh, in a future uh, future DAO. Um, mm -hmm. But that's kind of much further down our roadmap at the moment. Uh, so currently, all of that kind of decision making process is done within our, our Telegram and Discord channels. Sounds really awesome. So I think um, you guys got a lot on your plate right now. So I don't want to take you any more of your time. Um, I'm Christoph from RDX Works here today with Faraz. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much, Christoph. Enjoy the platform. <laughs>